Okay, hi there, Ed. Now we're going to show you uh, the importing the classified listings straight from Microsoft, uh, straight from the Word document which we made earlier. So here we've got your actual template. Um, what we'll do is uh, just zoom in a little bit and you'll notice all of these grid lines on the page um, and all of your, uh, the boxes that you can see, all of those things. Uh, a view, which is a lot easier than that, is uh, easier preview. Uh, that, when you're not in a text box at least, you can uh, use the shortcut key W. And so if we want to just get out of that using arrow tool, if I just press W, I can go into this preview mode which hides all of those things uh, which we uh, which we saw previously, which are important tools to actually have visible, so you know where you're going to snap things to, and when you're dragging items around, they will actually snap to them. You can see as I'm moving this, it's snapping uh, to that particular spot, the guides, and we can, if I show it visible, because it snaps from one to the next, which is very important, because we need to have everything snapping to all of the guides in here so that everything's lined up perfectly with the newspaper. So that W is a perfect tool. Now, the shortcut keys for all of the other tools, uh, if I just scroll over here, they'll come up. Uh, v is for the selection tool. Um, that's one of the most important ones you'll be using all the time. And T for text tool. Um, and, uh, you know, the, the, the pencil tool you won't be really using at all, I don't think. Um, and the grabber hand and the zoom tool. So you notice that um, the grabber hand is H. So if I'm sitting here, it only works while you're actually, uh, if you're using the shortcut key, while you're actually pressing um, uh, the space bar, unless you want to actually press H and go to that tool permanently. So if I'm on uh, V, the selection tool, if I just press space bar, I can just click and drag the page around while I'm holding space bar, and when I let go, it goes back to the tool that I was on previously. So that's a very helpful one. And the shortcut keys for zooming in as well. Control space bar is zoom in, and Control alt space bar is zoom out. And so all of these things, any shortcut key, you just want to make sure that you're not inside a text box when you're pressing it, if you're in there with text. Because if you do, it's going to actually press that character. So W, for instance, will just add Ws into the document, as you can see. So I'll just undo that and um, go back out. So if you're in a text box, you can just press Escape, and it will just take you to selecting a box rather than the text in the box and on that tool. So that's a very helpful one. Now, for viewing the page in its entirety, there's a couple of really handy shortcut keys. Control zero. Control zero fits the page to screen. Um, likewise, control one and two is 100% and 200%. So one and two, just like that. And then control zero goes back out. Control zero I find very handy because I can see the whole page in itself. Um, then I can press W as well, see what's sitting outside the page in um, all of the artboard area out here. Now the other thing, if I want to go from page to page, uh, if I press shift page up and page down, page down is going to the next page uh, but keeping it centered. So page 2, page 3, page 4. And then uh, shift page up goes back to 3, 2, and 1. And even if I am actually uh, zoomed in still, so if I press control uh, and the plus sign, it will zoom in on what I have actually got selected. So even if it's this little box on the side, it will zoom in on that one. And then I press Control zero again. If I've got this main text box selected, control plus will zoom in on that one there. Now if I press shift page up and page down, it will take me to that sort of same spot on each of the pages. So page two, three, four. So if I'm on the top of the page right here, and if I go to the next pages, it will take me to the same spot on each of the pages with shift page up, page down. Very helpful to scroll through your document and navigate very quickly and easily. Okay, so that's navigation, and um, okay, the next thing we're going to do is actually uh, import the document and set the styles.